The question I'm asked frequently from teachers early in their teaching career is, why become a department head? What are some of the advantages? What do you do? How do you get it? So the first answer is you really want to become a department head to help in the school's leadership team. Um, leadership usually, as we know, comes from the top and the director of the various boards will usually send some sort of a uh, mandate, if you will, as to what the school should focus on. Um, usually it's something like diversity, indigenous studies, maybe literacy, maybe numeracy. This, of course, get, cascades down to all of the schools, to the administrators, and the administrators ask that we um, uh, infuse that into our departments. So you might become part of a school's culture uh, and personality. Another reason to become a department head is that you get to, of course, set uh, department budgets. You get to assist department members with, let's say, uh, curriculum. You provide resources for your members. Um, you're usually offering some kind of advice, but you're not evaluating. Um, you're also helping with things like uh, grade eight transition nights where the grade eights uh, for the f current year come in transitioning to grade nine. Uh, you get to tell them about your program, tell them about your courses. Um, so it's really more of also a marketing job that you're doing, uh, especially if you're the department head of an elective program. Many administrators usually end up uh, becoming administrators because they have first started as a department head if they so want to go in that direction. There's also things to do like um, there's uh, additional meetings that you have to attend. Usually there's monthly department head meetings from your school that you have to attend. There's also regional meetings. So all the department heads from all the schools uh, across uh, the board will get together and talk about things like hot topics uh, going on, maybe curriculum changes, uh, how to uh, perhaps do a better job of marketing their programs, so information that they would want to bring back to uh, the rest of the department. In the spring, when you're setting timetables, uh, when the school is setting timetables, uh, you basically get to um, help decide, uh, or not decide, but of course you suggest, uh, who is going to be best suited to teach which course uh, within your department. Well, you have to be teaching for two years, um, and in your uh, schedule, uh, you would have had to take at least half of those two years would be in teaching those courses that you want to become uh, get your uh, your qualifications in. You usually take what's called an honor specialist course. Um, it's usually a, a, a one-time course that you take um, after your second year and um, you can take it at any uh, post-secondary institution that offers uh, AQ courses through their continuing ed program.